gosh, I hope you guys didn't hear that, but she just scratched her nails right down that canoe. <laughs> it's just, whoa. <laughs> what a crazy turkey. <laughs> they get into shenanigans for sure. Good morning. Well, it's morning for me anyway. Hope you guys are having a good day. Um, I'm puttering around the house today and I was thinking, uh, you know, I needed to get these screens off the house and um, off the windows. And I know, and while I was doing that, um, I had some thoughts about um, people that have come to our house, to our old house even, um, and said, why do you take your screens off in the winter time? Um, why don't you just leave them on? And um, I, I guess I never really thought about it. It's just something I've always done. Um, and I got thinking and I said, well, maybe I need to do this on video. Maybe not so much showing you washing my windows and taking my screens off. Um, but the reason why I do that so I'm not going to get deep into it because I'm really not a, a professional at this at all. Um, all I know is that in the summertime, when I have these screens on, these dark screens, they keep the sun out. Um, I also have mini blinds inside that I turn if the sun comes in. This is our living room here. So, um, you know, when we're trying to watch TV, if the sun's coming in, which it does, in the middle of the afternoon, it blind you and you can't see a thing. Um, the other thing is uh, it keeps some of the heat out if you keep these on because they're kind of like shades. Um, so in the summertime not just keeping the bugs out but it keeps kind of keeps the sun out uh, when you don't want it and uh, you don't want it to heat your house up. Uh, so in the winter time it's the opposite. The sun comes around the house and there's windows on the other side and when that sun comes up I want it to be getting into the house as soon as it possibly can not only from the panels or for the panels but for heating the house as well in the winter time. Um, we have a very short daylight time in the winter as you all know um, and so you want to get as much light in the house, get your vitamin D, get your heat, heat up the house. If you have solar, you want to get your solar panels cleaned off as soon as possible so you can um, get the sun on there and start charging those batteries and giving you some power. Um, sorry, my, my eyes leaking again. The wind is blowing out here, so hopefully you can hear me. I have my mic on today so you can hear me because uh, it's pretty breezy off and on. Um, so that's, uh, you know, you have your passive and your active solar. Uh, the solar panels would be our active solar. It's converting that energy from the sun and powering the house. The passive solar is the sun heating the house up, coming in the windows, coming in the doors, uh, you know, anywhere where there's glass, it's transferring that heat into the house. So that's why I take my screens off. Um, and I guess I never really thought about uh, why I do it. I just do it because I know that's how that works. But maybe that's something that you want to try. Take your screens off your windows for the winter time. You don't need them. If you have a place to store them that uh, would be, um, you know, safe for them so they don't get all scratched up and, and holes in them, then you know, try it. Maybe try it this winter and see what you think. Um, it does work for us. It does get hot in there in the winter time uh, between the, the wood stove heating the house, which it does very well, um, but also when the sun is coming in on a nice sunny day like today, um, it heats it up nice and warm. 
but that's what you want in the winter. I mean, you want it to be warm in there. So, um, or at least we do. <laughs> um, so anyway, I'm going to get to taking these screens off here. And then I've got a couple around the corner here. And then I'll move upstairs um, and do those. So stick around if you want to watch me take screens off and wash windows. <laughs> and maybe I'll come up with some more, you know, grand ideas. Who knows? <laughs> So through the magic of editing, that didn't take long for you. It really didn't take long for me either. It's more just trying to get all the hand smudges on the inside from the window getting open and closed all winter. I mean all summer. <laughs> um, you know, sometimes they don't want to come off. But yeah, I just wipe down my screens. I like to wipe down my... Uh, my sills um, inside and out of course but um, outside because they get all dirt and um, bugs and I don't know sometimes we grow like when we moved here the screens were left on for four or five years however long it sat here empty and they had moss growing in between the screen and the house so it's kind of Kind of yucky, but so I just like to wipe everything down before I bring it in. I mean, I'm not, um, you know, crazy, crazy cleaner, but some, you know, I just like to get them wiped down. Get the well, that's got spider web on it. Oh, well, that reminds me, we came home a couple days ago. I got video of it too. I'll put it up if I can find it. I'm pretty sure I do have video of it. Um, we came home a few days ago and it was a really nice warm day. It was like 70. It was a beautiful day. So we took our granddaughter out for a ride to visit some family and stuff. And when we came home, our house was covered, completely covered in ladybugs. It was crazy. Um, the whole, all, the whole house, the, all sides was completely covered. The screens were covered, the doors were covered, and as soon as we opened the door to go in, they started going in, and so you can see them marching along, up along the, the uh, ceiling, and between the ceiling and the wall, just kind of marching along. And then at night, or when they get cold, they huddle in a corner, and I have to vacuum them up, and I usually dump them back outside. Um, I don't know if they'll, you know, if they live or not, but um, I just don't want them in the house. I know ladybugs are supposed to be good, good luck, but um, I don't think we need thousands of them in the corners of our house. Um, but yeah, so there's that. Hopefully, I have video of that I can pop up there. I'm pretty sure I have it on my phone. Um, but uh, yeah. I'm sorry, uh, the uh, turkey is climbing on the, uh, on the canoe. I'll turn you around, see if you can see. 
And she just flew up on the canoe. I don't think I can zoom in, unfortunately. I don't know if you can see her right there. She's up there and then Eddie is down here, I believe. By the looks of the red, I would say that's how that is. They're getting so big. Hopefully you can see them. It's probably too far away. But um, anyway, that's my little discussion of um, active and passive solar. I'm not, like I said, I'm not a big smarty pants about all this stuff. I just know what works around here and just kind of common sense that if you have cleanish windows, and I say ish around here, um, you have cleanish windows and you take your screens off, that sun when it comes up in the, in the uh, winter time is gonna go right through those windows and heat your house up. And maybe you could turn your heat down just a little bit, may conserve a little bit of your, your heat, cost you a little less. Um, and then again, same thing in the summer, close up the, if you got mini blinds or curtains or whatever, uh, you know, close them up, put your screens back on, and hopefully that'll kind of keep it cool in your house in the summer. Um, I don't know, it's just something that I, I thought you guys might find interesting. Ah, gosh, I hope you guys didn't hear that, but she just scratched her nails right down that canoe. <laughs> it's just, whoa, <laughs> what a crazy turkey. <laughs> they get into shenanigans for sure. Um, I can see her walking across. Hopefully you guys can see her just walking, booping around up there. There must be something up there she's looking for. Or maybe she wants to go for a boat ride. I don't know. I think now she can't get down. I'm probably gonna have to go help her. Uh, but anyway, thanks for stopping by guys. Like, subscribe, um, comment down below. If you guys, you know, take your screens off in the winter time if you've even thought about it. Um, and uh, anyway. Passive, active solar, yay for us. So take care, bye.